Hello and welcome to the .NET Monthly for February 2025. I'm John Galloway. I'm a PM on the DevDiv community team. And you may have seen, I used to do the .NET Monthly Roundup, try and fit everything in three minutes. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a longer format and I am really happy to be joined by Frank. Frank, welcome. Hello. Oh, so I'm, I'm not just here to slow down John. I'm here also to share him. So I'm Frank Boucher. I'm a cloud bucket. So I'm really active, just like him, in the community. And Frank, this is great because you come, like you're on the cloud advocate side, kind of focusing on .NET. So you kind of bring a lot of other experience and, and um, information in things that I'm learning from you. So this is awesome. Very exciting to like share all the blog posts, the community, the events, all everything we collect for a month, kind of like make a recap just for the audience. Mm -hmm. So like they could, you know, have a quick look to see where they should spend more time in. Awesome. Well, hey, let's let's get started. Uh, first of all, we had some releases at Visual Studio 2022. Um, so we got 1713. That's cool. Um, it's always going up. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I love the productivity features in there, uh, tons of Copilot stuff. Of course, you know, Copilot Free is great. Um, so I was I'm just uh, digging into the uh, debugging diagnostic. I'm looking forward to kind of like go deeper in there. There's a lot of new functionality that uh, I think were very expected from uh, the community. You know, one thing here, I'm continuing to train myself to lean on like the visualizers more. So that innumerable visualizer is really great there. So, yeah. A lot of good stuff. So that's available. And then there's also, um, uh, of course, the preview, the first preview of 1714 is out too. So that's the same. All right. C Sharp Dev Kit. Yeah, so that one, I was very excited. I think I already told you uh, when I saw that blog post, I was very excited about the uh, Aspire. So right now in the dev kit, that's an extension uh, in VS Code. So to have a better experience when you are coding in C Sharp. And now it used to be not complicated, but a little more steps to add Aspire into a solution. And now it's just like in the bigger Visual Studio, you just right click and add Visual Studio and all the magics happen. So I was very happy for that one. My first thought was like, oh, looking forward to create a new Aspire project so I could try that on. It's really nice. You know, just simply like in the behind the scenes, we also work on tutorials and things. And it was always a lot. It was, hey, if you're in Visual Studio 2022, just right click. Oh, cool. If you're in VS Code, go over and do this and copy this and this. And now, so it's great that it's got that full support. Yeah. One other nice thing here I was happy to see is a Solution Explorer updates. Um, so now it works smoothly with projects that don't have a solution. Uh, oh, yeah, solution. true. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes. Cool. And we got a really cool overview video. Um, Katie on our team did a, a recap showing demos and explaining it all, too. So. Wonderful. Stuff. Well, we had a couple uh, in-depth performance posts. Um, mm -hmm. So there's one on networking and one on Maui. So these are kind of after we shipped .NET 9, uh, the engineers kind of went really in, de in depth. You can see the scroll bar here. It kind of goes on and on and on. Um, tons of stuff they did, you know, HTTP 3, connection pooling, um, diagnostics so that you can understand how your application is, is working um, and how to improve it. The main thing I take away from here, Frank, is update your app to .NET 9 and it gets faster. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to understand all the details. You get, you get faster. Yeah, I love it. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, there are new APIs you can take advantage of, but just by updating your app, you get better performance. So, yeah. So that's for, uh, for networking and then also for performance. Uh, Great post here, Jonathan Pepper's going in, explaining things like trimming, bringing your app size way down, um, and then also native native AOT, you know, just shrinking your apps, making them start up faster. So great stuff there. Um, yeah, this is a cool one here, Frank. This uh, the Razor productivity. Yes, yes, I was looking in this post, and one thing that 
really attract me was that Blaze, like, you know, a razor extract a component because when you're building a web app, sometimes like you don't know, right? You're building it, adding some stuff. And at some point you say, hey, I, I should reuse this in a different page. So now you could just like right click export to component instead of having all the copy paste and everything. So that one really resonated with me. I was like, oh, this is awesome. I really like that one. And it was also others pretty cool yeah. i think it was a uh, i think you mentioned the tokenize was it yeah. yeah yeah so and we had the team on the um aspnet community stand up and they explained all the work that went on behind the scenes it really uh improved my appreciation for how hard they worked <laughs> to make it work well and and how complicated it is there's there's roslyn there's the the editor, you know, the IDE. There's a Razor by itself has got C Sharp and JavaScript and CSS and HTML, and they can be nested, and it's very complicated. So, so it's really cool how it's now taking advantage of that Roslyn C Sharp tokenizer and then having less um, kind of one-off code inside the IDE. So, yeah. yeah, very cool stuff. Okay, Frank, one of, of course, the big things, uh, for the month was .NET 10 preview one. So yes. This was, we're excited about this. Um, this is, uh, you know, there's a blog post. The blog post is essentially a copy also of the GitHub discussion. Um, so there's, there's kind of listing of what, what happened in there. Uh, you can go and the, this links directly down into the spe specific things. Some of the things that popped out for me, uh, ASP.NET. So ASP.NET, there was the um, Open API 3.1 support. Um, oh, that thing, that one was a uh, expected. A big, by yeah. 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 So in this, there are potentially some breaking changes because it uh, now works with the uh, JSON schema, works with some other um, more advanced features. So it's, it's really cool. Um, this is kind of a first look at that. Uh, and then, you know, you can, like I was saying, this is all linked in to, you know, you can go in and click on them and get more in-depth information on those. Yeah, I'm still not done yet with that blog post. And also there's a video, right? There is. So um, this was an experiment yeah. we tried. Look at that. Yeah, so you're there. <laughs> there you go. We did an unboxing video. So we got the dev team on, um, PNs and engineers, um, you know, we had, uh, specific information like about C sharp 14. Um, Mike and Sophia came on and showed us some things with, uh, with open API 3.1. And then it was awesome to have a, a preview look at hybrid cache from Mark Gravel. So oh, that's nice. Um, this, this was, uh, you know, just kind of, uh, it was something we weren't sure if anyone would like it. And we had tons of people watching live and, and, you know, just got to get a kind of first informal look at it. It was really kind of just like, let's see what's in there. So. I'm sure. I'm sure it was a big, uh, a nice unboxing. I like. I like the the idea of an unboxing of a .NET version, and and also uh, with all those news, we had the .NET Aspire 9.1 that yep. came out with a lot of a great update for the dashboard. That dashboard that everybody love. Uh, there was the relationship that was pretty cool, I think. So like grouping mm -hmm. resources, like parent-child, that was pretty nice. There was localization also. So uh, that was nice. Even team. So like for people who prefer light mode, I don't know why, but I know those exist. You can put it back to light if you want and like you have the localization. Uh, more filtering, more control on, on the logs also. There was you could download them now, pause them. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we all know that can an act can, you know, spam you a lot of th logs when it's time to debug. The logs just scroll by, right? So being able to, yeah. to pause them is well, really helpful. There's a lot of stuff. So very good news. So you just have to upgrade your solution to Aspire.net 9.1. Aspire.9.1. And you will have all those things. So that was you pretty know, cool. I just did that on a workshop. Over the past few days, super easy. Like I was like, oh no, how how tough is this going to be? It was like there were no breaking changes. I bumped my my versions, and it was it was all set. So oh, those are always the best. 
And it was great to be able to use those, like those resource relationships. I had a Postgres database with some databases in there and be able to see them all nested. Super useful. Yeah, this the, the I think that will be very helpful when you have a little bit more resources, having them in a group will definitely help to find where is what. That will be nice. We also had a nice uh, workshop that was uh, released uh, announcing like so my colleague uh, announced the uh, generative AI for beginners in .NET. So there's a blog post that describes a little bit what it is. So there's a few lessons and it's retargeting beginners. So you don't need to be, even if it's AI, sometimes we're, we're scared, but that's target like developer who want to be, get started, right? And it's all open source. So like it's totally free. It's in a GitHub repo, like all the links, uh, by the way, will we'll be shared uh, under, but like it's in GitHub right now and you just have to fork it. And what I really like, sometimes when those trainings, they have like 23 session and like you have for a month of studying and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm, it's great. <laughs> but sometimes you're looking for, I just want to get, you know, a glimpse of what it is. This one is five lessons. So, you know, in half a day, you're done. Even you know, faster depending on the people, but like definitely in like a few hours you're done. And then like, you know how to use Gen AI. Uh, it's very well structured and it will be also providing those in many different languages. So that's pretty nice. So you have all the documentation, the steps, explanation of like what's happening in mm -hmm. many different languages. So very happy about uh, this thing it just get lunch and uh, we'll, we'll continue to hear about it like for like in the next month. <laughs> Some things I love seeing there is that it's, it's built so that you can use it with a GitHub free account. So it's free for everyone. Um, it's localized, as you said. And then there's also uh, short five minute videos, five to yes. 10 minute videos for each one. So really easy. If, if you've been kind of a little, I, you know, I learned quite a bit because I was going through and reviewing this. So, uh, I mean, it is for beginners, but there's a lot of great information in there. And it's fun, too. It's like uh, adding semantic search to a, to a web application and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I, I didn't uh, mention too much details, but yes, you are. So, like, there's a store. And instead of, like, searching, and that you could say just uh, something like, hey, like, I'm going for camping or winter camping. And then, like, it will suggest, like, warmer sleeping bag or stuff like that. And if you say, hey, I'm looking for you know, equipment for cooking, then it will make suggestions. So the tool understand the implicit request and help like suggesting uh, tools. So like a uh, very few lines of code, like just how to do it. It's very, very uh, powerful to understand. Awesome. Well, I think that wraps it up for this month, Frank. I think it was, uh, that's about it. <laughs> okay. Well, all, oh. as Frank said, all the links will be uh, in the description below. Um, Frank very nicely put together a beautiful markdown for all of this. So, um, and let you know, let us know what you think about this. Uh, you know, we're, we're happy to build something that's useful for you. So let us know how you can get you the best news each month. Excellent. So see you next month. <laughs>